Hello, this is Jim McKeith, developer evangelist for Rim Object Software. And today I get to introduce you to the latest technology under development in Rim Objects Labs, Project Cooper. The name comes from Special Agent Dale Cooper from the Twin Peaks television series. One of his more memorable quotes is, Harry, I have no idea where this will lead us, but I have a definite feeling it will be a place both wonderful and strange. Back when we started Oxygen, our goals were a true object Pascal compiler for the .NET framework, giving developers full access to the .NET framework and all its capabilities. We wanted a language with no baggage from Win32 or Delphi, all the language features making sense for the .NET framework. The result is not 100% compatible with native Delphi since some language features just don't make sense on the .NET platform. This means that .NET developers feel right at home using it, but Delphi developers feel right at home using it too. Oxygen was first released as Chrome back in late 2004. With the 1.5 release in 2005, Chrome moved ahead of C-sharp and VB in features by adding support for generics. The 2.0 release in 2007 was also known as Joyride, and it continued the tradition by being the first language to support sequences and queries. In 2008, it was renamed Oxygen and added integrated parallelism to the language with the .NET Parallel Framework extensions. And in 2008, Oxygen replaced Delphi.NET as Embarcadero's choice .NET language and now powers Delphi Prism. Now it is my great pleasure to introduce Cooper. Just as Oxygen brought true Object Pascal to .NET, Cooper brings it to Java and Android. This of course gives developers full access to the Java platforms and frameworks and all their capabilities. There is no baggage from Win32 Delphi or .NET. This means Java developers will feel right at home using it. And so will Delphi Prism developers. Now for the best part, a few demos. Our first demo application is the Universal Hello World application. You'll see here I have a Pascal source file as well as a compile script. The compile script simply uses mono to run the Cooper compiler. The Cooper compiler is written in .NET but does not require .NET on the client application side. We use .NET so that way with mono we can run it on multiple platforms, for example here on the Mac or on Windows or Linux. We pass in saying the mode we're doing Java and the source file and then we provide a reference to the JDK. The source file, simple Pascal source file here, you'll notice at the top it uses java.util and down here we're making use of Java method names here in objects. This gets all the system properties and outputs them to the screen along with a hello world message. So I'll just simply run the compile. And we see we now have a jar file which we can run with Java. And get the output we expected. The list of properties here along with the hello world message. So Java has a widget library called Swing. Swing is great for making cross-platform applications. Once again here, I have a source file. More that will fit on one screen this time. This is to create a calculator in Swing. And we'll run the compile script, pretty much the same script as last time. And when it's done, I simply use Java to launch the jar file. And we'll see there is our Cooper Swing calculator here. And of course, everybody wants to know about Android these days. So we have an Android demo here. Um, the script is a little more complicated this time. Let me show you the source file first though. Cat Jandroid. is going to print out hello world from a cooper compiled app the compile script can't compile the first line here is the compilation with cooper 
The remaining lines here are to run the tools necessary to convert the Java jar file into the correct package and deploy the package onto the simulator. These are the same tools you would use if you're developing the application from scratch with Java because that's what we're using. We're using Java, just the language we're using is instead of the Java language, you're using Cooper instead. So I'll go ahead and run the compiler. I don't know why it says this tool is deprecated. That's the one we're supposed to use. Success! That's what I like to see. And we pop over here to the emulator. And there it is. Hello world from a Cooper compiled app. So you see Cooper gives you the ability to use Object Pascal to target any platform that Java runs on today. Cooper is still in process, but here are the features as they are planned. Full support for the Oxygen language you have come to know and love. Of course, there's still a caveat on that. There are some minor differences to make Cooper a good citizen on the Java platform. This means new language features like inline interfaces, as well as some missing features like Link. Link, while being a language feature, requires the .NET framework to be truly useful. Cooper consumes the Java runtime library just like Oxygen consumes the .NET base class library. It directly references Java jar files and it directly compiles to native Java jar files. That means there is no intermediary. It doesn't compile to .NET first in order to produce the jar file and the jar file that's produced is completely the same as a jar file produced with any other tool. The result supports development for classic Java runtime as well as Android's Dalvik. This means it'll run anywhere, including on your microwave. And while there will always be a command line compiler available, it will also be integrated into Visual Studio and MonoDevelop, just like Oxygen. I'm sure you're curious about availability. It will be available this year, and that's all I can really say for now. Everyone here at Rim Objects is really excited about Project Cooper, though as I'm sure you are too. Stay tuned to blogs.rimobjects.com for more information as it becomes available. Thank you very much.